welcome to the channel if you're a new viewer please consider subscribing here we're going to look at the system sensor i3 series sensitivity reader so in this video i'm going to talk about the features of this device and show you practically how you can get a reading for the i3 series smoke detectors from system sensor so stick around we're going to look at some of the features and then we'll show the video of how you can use this device. First of all, let's start off with the, um, some of the features. First of all, we on your screen, as you see, we have an LCD screen that displays sensitivity by percentage per foot obscuration. It also indicates after you get the, the reading, it indicates if the smoke detector is good or it needs service or replace. Also at the bottom of the the sensitivity reader, you have a connect you have connectors for a handheld device or threaded extension pole. So you eliminate your need for a ladder in most places you want to be testing from the ground level and you don't want to bring a, bring around a ladder. Sometimes it it makes it more convenient. Obviously, if you, there's nothing wrong with using a ladder as well. Um, you also have like a dual LED and sound indicators, which uh, really helps uh, if you have testing in an area where there's low visibility, you can, you have the indication by sound or perhaps you in an area where you can't hear, there's too much um, noise. You can also um, by viewing, keep an eye on the, the LED you will see it turns red. Just like in this video, I will show you when it turns red and it indicates the reading. You also have a low battery indicator. So when the battery becomes low, it will, it will indicate that the battery has become low. And you have an automatic shut off. After 30 minutes, it shuts off by itself so it won't be draining the battery. And then, you know, it uses uh, AA alkaline batteries and yeah so i'm gonna ch show you in this video so stick around and let's show you how you use this device